mentioned earlier, after checking the engine compartment and engine fluid levels at the beginning of your pre-trip inspection, start the engine and let it idle for a short time while you finish the rest of your inspection. But remember, extended idling is not recommended for good fuel economy. Of course, before you even put the key in the ignition, be sure the parking brake is set, the clutch is disengaged, and the transmission is in neutral. Before cranking the engine, place the key in the on position and wait for the telltale indicators and gauges to perform a self-test. Note any of the telltale indicators that remain illuminated after the self-test and take any appropriate action before cranking the engine. When starting the vehicle, there is no need to apply the throttle while the engine is cranking. Do not crank the starter for more than 45 seconds. The VMAC 4 electronic control system only allows three 45-second cranking times within a three-minute period. After that, it locks out the starter for up to two minutes to allow it to cool down. Remember, if the wait to start telltale indicator lights up, don't crank the engine until the light goes out. And finally, when starting your vehicle, do not, under any circumstances, use starting fluid on the engine. This is an extremely dangerous practice and must be completely avoided. When the engine is running, check the oil pressure and temperature on the gauges below the tachometer. The normal operating oil pressure is between 40 and 90 PSI. When the engine is idling, the oil pressure should be between 40 and 60 PSI, and the maximum oil pressure when the engine is cold is 100 PSI. Also, check the engine coolant temperature at the coolant temperature gauge below the tachometer. Normal coolant operating temperature is between 170 and 225 degrees Fahrenheit. As noted earlier, maintain the coolant with the correct mixture of antifreeze and water. Never use straight water or antifreeze, and do not mix different types of antifreeze. The cooling system cap is under 16 PSI of pressure when operating. Don't open the cap until the cooling system temperature cools down. Review all gauges and telltales for normal readings before you leave for your operating day and at approximately 5 minute intervals during operation. When you have completed your day, don't shut off the engine right away. Idle for a minute or two to stabilize the temperature of all the engine parts and then shut off the engine. And finally, if you must idle the engine for cab heating or cooling, keep the engine at low idle, around 650 RPM. Max modern engines do not need increased RPM to maintain engine heat. 